Hello and welcome to Andy's Little Sci-Fi Horror Show. My name's Andy. And I'm Drew. This is our little 10 minute window to the rest of the world. Right now, we're on our way. We have to get something to eat because yeah, I am I'm hungry. Yeah. Let's get out of here. Driver needs food. And passenger needs food too. Wendy's? Sure. You know, this, this show is probably going to be sponsored by Wendy's one day. I, I know, it should be. Or Subway. Or, <laughs> Subway or, or Wendy's? Dunkin' Donuts. I mean, like, Dunkin' like, Donuts, Subway. The, the possibilities are endless. Pop culture always has the biggies. Always the Ford and Chevys. McDonald's, the Burger King. The Coke, the Pepsi. Thank you for chicken, the Popeyes. There ain't no Popeyes. The Subway, the Quidditch. I know, why not? I don't know. This stuff is good. I'd like to see a Sonic around here. <laughs> no kidding. This seems to be another no subject required kind of episode right here. Yeah, this is definitely one of those. Stan, so what shall we talk about? Oh, I don't know. Have you seen any good movies lately? Uh, actually, I did. I saw The Avengers. You did? Yes, I did. Uh, how was it? it I, was, I heard it was long. It was long, but it was a good kind of long. Like I Watchmen? saw it twice. You saw it twice in the theaters? Yeah, I saw it twice in the theaters. Whoa. It takes a lot for me to see a movie twice in the theaters. Yeah, well, I mean, I, I imagine, I, I don't know, I don't think I'm going to make it to the theater for that. Oh, it's it's worth it. It really I, is. I know, but I, know, I have a hard time sitting in a theater for one-sixth of my waking day. But it's a good one-sixth of your waking day. I know, but I can't pause it and go to the bathroom. No, you can't. And I got to pay for the popcorn. <laughs> yeah, that's true. So you, um, see my, so you see my problem. Yeah. If you're familiar with, of course, the Marvel franchise, they have already made movies about Iron Man and Thor and Captain America. Um, I'm curious, though, if they're going to expound on this event, uh, Avengers in the sequel because... Um, oh, they will. Because, uh, you know, there's more Avengers out there than just yeah. what you guys saw there. Well, they had quite a bit. They had the Hulk in it. They had Hawkeye. They had Black Widow. They had a, they had a pretty... Who's the director? Uh, Joss Whedon. Joss Whedon, who you, if you're familiar with Buffy the Vampire Slayer, the man with the golden touch, and that's I didn't why know he was the director. He, yep, he directed this one. God, son of a bitch! I have to go see it. <laughs> I'm either gonna see it or blind buy it. it. It is worth seeing in the theaters. It really is. It's already made like over a billion dollars after four weeks. Ooh, but the box office. Well, that's a lot of money. That just goes to show just how popular it is. Yeah. Well, I mean, um, I was gonna go see Battleship. Yeah. But I just didn't get a chance to because every single showing was in 3D again. We get shot just 2D glasses. I actually found a website where a gentleman. This website right here. <laughs> who has uh, just, he has a wife and he, and he likes to go to 3D movies but his wife hates him. So he went to the 3D glasses company and asked them, hey, can you just like make glasses so like they're the same lens on both the right and left side? They're both the left lens, apparently. In Basically. The, the, the design. He, they're like, uh, yeah, but that would kind of neg negate the 3D effect. And he's like, great, I'll take like a whole bunch. And basically, he started his own little business called 2dglasses.com, and he's, he's he sold them online. They're cheap. Yeah, they're they're cheap. Uh, we still don't know if the technology works. So you know, because the idea of actually going to see a 3D movie and then like paying paying to see a 3D movie and then not utilizing the effect, if it works, awesome. If it doesn't, I mean, I don't know, if it's a gag, who knows? I was actually going to go see uh, Men in Black yesterday, but I didn't have them with me. I didn't want to go see the 3D showing because I knew they were going to do all kinds of 3D. So we, should go see, yeah. we should go see Men in Black 3. When is it playing? It's out now. I don't know, when is it playing? When is it playing? I don't know when it plays. I heard that it was good. I heard Men in Black. How can it not be? It's Men in Black, for God's sakes. It's aliens, Will Smith, cracking jokes, good effects. I mean, right there alone, you don't even need a story. Josh Brolin is playing the younger version of Agent K. It's interesting. It's a good choice. We are still rambling on in this uh, no subject required episode. We're coming up on our destination of food, so I'm, we're going to be pausing here in a minute. Actually, yeah. I'm going to pause right now because I'm... I'm gonna really eat this camera. Yeah, that's Mojo. I do. We're back. We're back. Can I get a gun this time? No. no! We we're just discussing in the um, place where we we're having lunch about particular the movies we wanted to see this summer, yes. and uh, unfortunately, one of them, GI Joe Retaliation, has been pushed back. Basically, what they have decided to do is they decided to hold it and release it in March. 2013. Why? Because they're adding 3D. 
Well, that's it as you're going with is your story. It could have just been because Battleship sucks. But I think that'd be all the more reason they would want to push up a movie. Yeah. yeah. I mean... A good movie. Well, to be quite honest, there is a G.I. Joe movie coming out, and that's going to be called The Expendables 2! See the first one? No, but then again, I have a life. Okay. The first one was just unbelievable. It was really a good action film. It was definitely one of those... I'm glad you said... I'm glad you tacked the word action in there. I thought you were going to say it was a really good film. The Expendables was a movie where you could just... Put it on a shelf, put your brain on a shelf. And I, like kinda, those. I like those kind of movies. You know, you don't have to see any sense of reality. It's not anything really, it's not Shakespearean. When Schwarzenegger was in The Expendables, the first one, he was still governor of California. And because he was still governor of California, he really couldn't dedicate all the time that he had to that film. So, he's like in one scene. And Willis, Bruce Willis is only in one scene in the original too. So, I mean, that's a huge cat, I and mean, that's a massive, oh my massive God. ensemble they had Chuck cat. Norris in this one. So, they, you know, I can understand why people would have what they would call bit parts, but still, I mean. It has everybody from all the. It's like the six degrees of action movies. You know, there's the six degrees of Kevin Bacon? Yeah. No, there's the six degrees of action movies. Well, did they have Remo Williams? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so. Yeah, the adventure begins. There's an awesome movie. I mean, what, a, what, a, what a ballsy tagline, the adventure begins. Like, yeah, really? It and ended. Then it ended. Here's another uh, franchise killer. Buckaroo Banzai and the Adventures of the Across the Eighth Dimension. You know how, like, you ever see that movie? Yeah, I know, I, I have, but I, I'm embarrassed to admit it. That movie is weird. Not only do we not have a, a subject matter set here, we don't even know where we're going. Okay, we have a, we have a location. We're on our way to... Uh, he has to go to um, Dick's Sporting Goods to get some arrows. I like to call them props. Props or arrows. We never said it was exciting. We just said we had a, a mission. Yeah, we have things to do. We have, we're busy guys. We can see live very extraordinarily interesting lives. Don't we? Yeah. <laughs> I was just talking about some of the upcoming episodes that he has got to still see. But yeah. you guys have both already seen by this time. We come with the Boston Comic Con episodes. Yeah. That was a good time. Mario and Luigi, Toad and the Princess. But uh, it was really funny. After um, afterwards, at least he was telling me that she was not expecting it to be that crowd and that many people. And you go for the first time, and it, it's overwhelming. It is a big thing. And um, <clears throat> she's going on by like, you know, how she's just, it's, and she wasn't, she wasn't feeling very well, you can kind of tell by her face. So, but right in the middle of all this, I'm like, I'm this calf listening, doing her husband thing. And she's like, next time I'll be better prepared. And I'm like, wait, wait, wait where'd this come from? Next time? Wait, wait, what? She's doing it again? Yes, but um, she's going to go at, yeah, that's the plan. Are you happy about all the people taking their pictures of Boston Comic Con? Yeah. He was, I remember, he didn't say it, but it was clearly in his face. When I went as a Green Hornet and he went as the security guard, and Captain Kirk kind of looked like Captain Jerk. Spock always got more press anyway. He always got, he's always on the t-shirt. I had the triples, okay? I know. That's what did it. Dude, you have the ears. They all have ear envy. You the did. The pointy ears. You did. He's all about the press. He loves it. So, see him at a convention, take his picture. Look at his face. This is the face of a guy who didn't get much attention as a kid. My name is Andy. And I'm Drew. Good night.